two, one, zero, and lift off. The final lift off of Atlantis. This was July 8th, the final launch for Space Shuttle Atlantis, and a grand conclusion to NASA's low orbit explorations. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Nearly two weeks later, after delivering the last supplies to the International Space Station on the eve of the final space shuttle landing at the Kennedy Space Center, all is quiet as the four astronauts and thousands more on the ground await a pre-dawn landing on Thursday. I think the crew even discussed that there's, it's, it, they're quiet moments when they're, when they're not busy doing their jobs. The reality is starting to, you know, to seep in that, yes, this really is the last you know, 24 hours of, of the space shuttle flights. Some shuttle highlights over 30 years are the 180 satellites and other spacecraft deployed by the entire fleet and the construction of the International Space Station, a nearly 1 million pound science outpost that took 12 and a half years and 37 shuttle flights to build. After 13 days in orbit, the space shuttle will make its final landing Thursday at approximately 6 a.m. After that, the reality is really going to set in as nearly 2,000 employees receive pink slips and they'll all be looking for a new job. We've known that the shuttle program is going to be shut down since 2004, but I mean, obviously it truly will be the last day of work and it happens to uh, coincide with the, the you know, landing day as well. An historic and emotional day lies ahead and after the space shuttle makes its wheel-stopping end, the vehicle will spend the rest of its life here at the Kennedy Space Center's Visitor Center. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Cape Canaveral, Florida.